This week, I'm gonna be fixing some old slimes that are so old, they qualify for senior discounts. But to challenge myself, I can only use three ingredients. That includes charms, pigments, dyes, and scents. Let's take a look at these old slimes. First off, we have candy corn fizz. So this one is almost six months old. Oh, look at that. That looks... We like the way when slime looks like that. Typically, this is what slimes look like if you just don't take care of it. So be mindful and just take care of your slime. So if you leave it there and it ends up like this, that's probably why. That one is actually disgusting. I don't even want to touch that one. Oh, look, we got a Christmas one. So we went from Halloween to Christmas. This one doesn't look bad. It just looks so weird. Oh, it's actually not that bad. The texture isn't terrible. Just the colors mixed together. Like, I don't know what this brown color is. Whoa, this one isn't terrible at all. Christmas cookie dough, low key popped off. Oh, look it, we have a dried up pumpkin from Halloween. It's not even in a container. I want to see if I can break it. I can't break it. Should I try to get like a hammer and try to hammer it? I don't think that's gonna break it. Oh, we got another pumpkin patch. I don't, why are there so many holiday slimes in here? Oh, that feels like glue. I literally have no recollection of this one even existing. It's Cactus Cooler Crunch. All the snow fizzes, they look like this, why? Oh, this one, Dragon Fruit Candy. This one's a fan favorite. <laughs> This one is legitimately stuck. That was much better. So again, this is what happens when you leave slime unattended for months. Just watch your slimes, maybe activate it every so often. So we got a lot of stuff to play with. So I'm gonna get a bowl that we're gonna put all these slimes in. This is gonna get a little messy. So first off, we're gonna put Halloween sugar cookies. I actually remember this one. I actually really like, oh my God, this is so sticky. This is gonna be a mess. One problem I'm realizing now is that we are gonna have completely different textures mixing together. And that's kind of weird. I forgot to mention, but I'm gonna have the shop staff rate this slime, but I want to challenge them and see if they can come up with the funniest name possible for it. And whoever does, wins. But I want to give them a good slime to work with. And hopefully it doesn't get roasted like Jacqueline. She roasted my slime before. I don't like the color. We don't want that. This one's not even sticky. Look at that one. That one came out perfect. This was Candy Hearts DIY Play Kit, of course. Also the color. What do we think the color is going to be? Dan, what are, you, what are you thinking? Gray. Gray? That's a great guess. I'm thinking it's going to be brown. We'll see who is right. So this one is milk cookies. Also, I haven't used any my ingredients yet, so we're vibing. I'm liking so far the colors. Right now, we probably would be close to gray like what Dan just suggested. Oh, we haven't touched the jelly cube. This is Northern Lights, a classic, dare I say. <laughs> that is glue. This one doesn't even have a name, it just says cat food. Freaking snow fizz, look at that. This one, at least the color doesn't look bad. So I added all the slimes in here and I would wanna mix this with my hands, but it seems kind of sticky. So this seems like a job for the mixer. So that's what we're gonna be using. The slime is so sticky that I have to use some activator. So I am gonna pour some on top of the slime and then also dip my hands in it. Christian, you're using your first ingredient already. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. I was planning on using activator, so that's good, but I'm a little bit stressed out now. So I guess we can get all the activator in there. Wow, look at that mess. That is just slime goop. I don't know, I think it's gonna be brown. Your uh, guess of gray? It's not looking too hot anymore. Now that we have it all in the mixer, let's let it mix before we decide what we're gonna change the color to. I still think I'm gonna be correct with brown, but we'll see if Dan gets the gray right. Well, this is definitely closer to gray than brown, I would say. So Dan, it looks like you won. I gotta figure out what color we're gonna make this thing. The texture is so funky. If I presented this to the staff right now, I think they would give it a zero out of 10. So we need to pick out a color that doesn't stink. So let's go do that. We're at the color wall. So there's a ton of options that we can choose from. We could go red, red and green kind of clashes, yellow, I mean, kind of mid. But I'm thinking this neon blue. I think we can just like absolutely crush that color. I mean, who doesn't like blue. I don't even like blue. <laughs> blue is the best color. That is my favorite color. That's what we're going to be using. That's two ingredients for sure. I'm well aware that this is two ingredients. Now, I have to decide that if the color stinks, I can use glue to dilute it, or I could use a charm to kind of like zhuzh it up. I'm just hoping that the color comes out good. Look how nice this slime came out. It actually doesn't stink that bad. The color is kind of just like a turquoise. So going with the blue was a solid choice. Thank you very much. I owe it to myself. And it's activated pretty well. The texture is kind of funky, but it's not terrible. It kind of just feels like a fizzy slime slash like with a little bit of bingsu. I've made some mixtures before in the past that have just been like absolutely awful. This is a solid slime to work with. I don't know what we're gonna be going with with the theming for this slime. I guess we'll just have to see what the charms are and go from there. We're at 
the weird section of the charm. So we got mushrooms, baked pretzels. We even have cheese. Why, why did Andrea ever want to get cheese charms? That's not going to go on slime. Who wants a cheese smelling slime? I so love cheese. But I think eggs? Now the eggs will be funny. I think you can kind of play off of it and also like the colors just like it just does not match at all. So I think we're going to go with eggs. Now these old slimes have been transformed completely. I mean, we literally had like 30 different random slimes and we made it into this. So I'm really happy with it. But now we're gonna get five shop staff to rate the slime and then come up with a funny name. And then I'm gonna be choosing the best one. David, rate this slime between one and 10. Give me your thoughts. Brutally honest opinion. Brutally honest? Yeah. The egg, I like it because it's really contrasting with the blue. Like the colors of the egg is really nice oh. with the blue. I like primary colors, so it's kind of giving that. I do love the color. The egg's throwing me off a little bit. Okay. Um, the color combo with the egg, I'm not sure about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. What is it, like water egg? My first impression is the texture is disgusting. I feel like the egg is just a little bit random, but I think the color's super pretty. I don't know what this egg's doing on here. I feel like it goes with it. Uh, I disagree. Scented? I like that. <laughs> I don't think I like the scent, but I like that it has a smell. Okay. Oh, it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. Did not expect that. I love the scent too. Okay, so it's like a bingsu with slimy texture, mm -hmm. greasy. Greasy. Oh, I like the scent. What is that? Like blueberry? I mean, it's a combination of 20 slimes. 20? Yeah. I don't know. Is this used slime? Because this is what it feels like. Look, there's a bear charm in here. No, it's it's a combination of a bunch of old slimes that were sitting around. Oh. To be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What do you what do you give it out of ten? Out of ten, a uh, six point five. I will, a 6 out point five out of 10 for a slime that you don't really like, I will happily take. Let's do a bubble pop test. Okay. That's a solid bubble pop. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I'd give it out of 10, like a seven. Do you give that a seven? But yeah, my other the other one was bad. Yeah, it's like a dirty fusion. <laughs> Bro, okay. <laughs> I give this a six. A six? I give it a six. Well then. I'll give it an eight. Actually. Okay. I, like I will happily take an eight. Thank okay. you. That's With the crazy. egg, it's a six. Without the egg, it's a five. So six. Six. We'll six. six. We'll take a six. Okay. That's great. Now, what would you name this slime? What's that thing where they like crack an egg in boiled water? Hard poached. Poached egg. Poached, poached egg? egg. Poached egg. I'm not going to lie. That's a little bit uh, un unimaginative. I think the slime is a little unimaginative. Maybe if you're more creative. Where's Dan? Egg water? <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I'll take egg water. Minty and egg? Yeah, I've had that before. There's some mints in my eggs in the morning. Yeah, um, I would say breakfast. Just breakfast? Yeah. Okay, it's I'm breakfast. happy with that. That's fair. That's fair with the egg. When you brush your teeth and then afterwards you have a breakfast? Yeah, that's yes. exactly what it is. I would have to name it blue eggs and ham. Like green eggs and ham, but it's like blue eggs and ham. Dang. That's probably the best one. You think so? Blue eggs and ham. Did you? Wait, <laughs> no way. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. Because uh, that's what Scarlett said. Really? Yeah. Well, I was surprised to see that people like this slime so much. They were giving really high ratings. This slime stinks, okay? I don't know why they did that, but I'm gonna have to say the best name that they came up with was Blue Eggs and Ham. And I can't believe that two people said that. So that's pretty awesome, but thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.